Hey everybody, Mike from Taste Bud Orgasm here. And guess what? I got another recipe. Can you guess what's in it? Can you? Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I know you won't be able to tell me, but it's bacon. Bacon. Good. Maple, maple flavored bacon. And what we're going to be doing right now is uh, wrapping the bacon around carrots. I've already peeled them, cut the ends off, and you wrap them up. Or the bacon is all the way wrapped around there as much as possible. So it looks like that. So I'm going to wrap all these up. They'll have uh, maple syrup put on them. Yeah, a lot of maple going on today. And uh, oh, these are going to be awesome. I just know it. Um, who doesn't like bacon? Well, some people don't. Some people don't like pork. Uh, people of the Jewish faith, there's probably some other religions that don't like pork, and that's fine. They don't have to eat it. That just means there's more for the rest of us that do like it. Um, so, yeah. What I'm going to do is wrap these up, get this one wrapped, and then I'm going to show you the maple syrup that I'm using. Uh, I forgot how I found out about runamuck maple. Uh, here it is right here. Uh, this one is apple brandy barrel age. It's really good stuff. Or as we used to say in the South, or still do. It's good shit, Maynard. Or it's good stuff, Maynard, whichever, depending on what, what kind of verbiage you use. But uh, these carrots will get wrapped up with the bacon. They'll get brushed with the maple syrup. A little bit of cracked black pepper on top. Into the oven for 15 minutes. Then the carrots are turned over so that the bacon that's on the bottom will uh, get nice and crisp as well. They go for another 10 to 15 minutes. And you, oh, when you take them out uh, at that midpoint, you also wrap, um, you wash them again in um, the, the syrup. So they get two coatings of the maple syrup. So these should be pretty awesome. You know, earlier today uh, on a different video, I uh, did the uh, maple or the uh, bacon wrapped chicken breast with the brown sugar, salt, and pepper. I didn't use garlic today. I've been eating a lot of garlic, so I stay away from it today. But that's the basic recipe. It came off Facebook. And what I like about Facebook is, besides being a time waster, is you can find a lot of good recipes there. Um, my three favorite cooks are Giada De Laurentiis, um, Alton Brown, and Ina Garden. I know people don't like them, and that's fine. Whoever use whoever you want to cook whatever you want, and that's all that matters. Sorry, just grabbing the kitchen towel to wipe my hands off here, and show you what this all looks like now. Get the camera set. You know I got to do everything myself. So brush out of just all clean. Move the rest of the bacon over. Here's that syrup. So just gonna paint it on. You can see the carrots are pretty well covered. And when you use, when you're doing something like, you know, like this, it basically you're basting the food, although they, it hasn't been cooked. You want to make sure you keep your source clean. You don't want to keep uh, going into your source. That's why I have the bacon or the syrup in a bowl. And it's just to keep things clean and separated and all that stuff. So. I know all y'all know, understand that. Oh, did I did I mess up by saying all y'all? You know, I grew up in the South. What's the difference between y'all and all y'all? Oh, one or more people. Literally, up to three people would be y'all, and four or more could be all y'all. I know, it's weird. We're weird in the South, but God love us. So, and there we go. So now... I will get the cracked black pepper and just a little bit on there. Now these will go into a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes and uh, when they are ready to be basted again I'll show you what they look like at the 15 minute mark and then when they're done and these are, oh, these are going to be primo. Um, really excited. If you don't want the big carrots, you can always use the little tiny carrots like you put in for lunches or you can put in for salads, whatever, and just take, cut your bacon down, wrap in that as well. So there's many different ways you can fix this. You don't have to use the large carrots like I am. So 
until we come back and get to see what this looks like, stand by, all right? Talk to you later. Hey everybody, 10 minutes has gone by. Uh, pulled the carrots out, I'll show you here. See if you can see them. They look good. Let's try to get a little zoom in and uh, go from there. Again, we have our maple syrup in a separate container. And we're gonna go over them again. And these are gonna go in for actually 15 minutes. I'm gonna correct myself and say that I thought they had to be turned over, but they don't. But um, they're gonna go in for 15 minutes or until the carrots are tender. So that may take a little bit more time than the 10 minutes, which is fine. Uh, I'm not in a hurry. I want these to be done to perfection. So that's what they look like. Stand by for them to get done and come out and I'll give you a report on them. Hey everybody, Mike here. Yeah, taste but orgasm. Yeah, look at the camera. Don't want to move it. Hey, don't matter. Hey, uh, 15 minutes has passed since we took the carrots out, brushed them again with more maple syrup. Gonna go over to the oven and pull them out right now, so stand by for a quick moment. Yeah, I know you're looking at the cutting board, but oh well, that's life. These are looking awesome. They smell tremendous. Looky there. Oh, do they look good? Oh, they look good. I'm gonna try the carrots. Yeah, they, they can go on for another five minutes. Get a better picture there, sorry. Uh, because the, uh, we'll back up there. I'll get it right in a minute. The carrots are so thick that they're not all the way done. And sometimes, you know, the good thing is that I know that that's not a hair that is actually off my brush. So I guess it's time to get a new brush. Uh, these are going to go in for about five more minutes because I can tell that, you know, they're still a little tough, which I don't care. Um, what I'm going to try to do is get them to crisp up a little bit more, so I'm going to put them back in for another five minutes, so stand by. Hey everybody, Mike from Taste Bud Orgasm here. Yeah, look at these. They are awesome. The bacon is cooked. Oh, it's a not crispy, but it's fine. You don't always have to, I love, if I'm eating bacon by itself, love crispy, crispy bacon. Carrots had extra five minutes, really helped out to get them even more cooked, which I'm really happy about. Um, you know, it's, look at that gooiness. All this is gonna be picked up and put back on the carrots. Some people that wouldn't want that, but it's what I want when I'm making this, that's all that matters. These are gonna be a wonderful addition to my dinner tonight. Uh, which is the chicken breast wrapped in bacon with brown sugar, salt, pepper. I didn't use garlic today, but that's fine. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a great dinner. So, you know, I found this recipe on Facebook. Again, I find a bunch of stuff on Facebook and I try them, don't try them. Hey, doesn't matter. It's all good. Some work, some don't. But really happy with this. Excited. I'll be giving some to some friends and let them try see what they think. Um, let me know your thoughts, uh, what you think about this. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll try the recipe yourself and go from there. So until we see each other again, have people at your table. Food is what brings people together. Remember, the imperfect becomes the perfect because you don't want to be perfect all the time because then you're boring. So it's like my hair, you know, what hair I got left. So anyway, have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, Mike here from Taste Bud Orgasm. Don't have my apron on because I was actually starting to eat these carrots wrapped in bacon and glazed with, um, um, I, I used the run amuck maple syrup, which is apple brandy infused. Run amuck's a really good brand. Use whatever you want, that's the main thing. Use what you like. I like this. It is an expensive maple syrup, but I really like it. And that's why I, well, I'm not saying I brag about what I pay for, but, um, there's a lot of great brands out there. Use what you want. So I'm trying this, the carrot, again, the carrots wrapped in bacon. And oh my God, you hear me talk about slop your mama good. And these are, it's just the carrots are cooked perfectly. The bacon is soft. It's not crunchy like I normally like it. You can taste the maple syrup in there, which is great. Um, the carrots even picked up a little bit of the maple syrup taste to them, which is really awesome. 
So this is definitely a, a keeper that I'm going to have in my cooking arsenal that whenever I want to do something different with steaks, uh, you can do this for the holidays. You can do it anytime you want. That's the great thing about this recipe. You can cut your carrots down however you want. You can probably even deep fry them if you want to, although I've never had deep fried carrots. But um, this is definitely a recipe to keep going. And I will be, yeah, it's, I'm thinking deep fried turkey, these, of course, black eyes and greens and other stuff. So I just had to come into this last minute commentary about this. This is, again, slap your mama good. Don't do it, don't, don't do it physically because, you know, she'll, be, she'll beat you down. I, at least I grew up in the South and, you know, your mama will slap you down and she don't care. Uh, but the term of slap your mama down, I mean, these are good. You try to take it off my plate, I'm going to slap your hand and you won't be pleased at the way I hurt you because you don't take my food. So I know I'm a little bit silly here on my food. Um, I love to eat. Um, I love to cook. That's why I do what I do. I'm not a classically trained chef like many other people are. There's a lot of great chefs out there. Unfortunately, there are some bad chefs, but there's bad in every profession there is. But all the good outweighs the bad. Um, I grew up in a household that my grandmother cooked because both my mother and my stepmother could not cook. And it's unfortunate, but hey, that's life. They were too busy providing for all of us growing up. So anyway, enough of whatever. I'm going to finish this, have a little bit of wine. Actually, I'm going to finish this, go grab a friend. We're going to go out and have drinks tonight. Yes, I will be definitely have one drink, lots of water, and be safe. So uh, until we see each other again, or whenever you see my video, I won't see you because I can't see two-way on this thing. Uh, have a great time. Remember, food is what brings people together. And uh, have people at your table sit down, put your phones, your tablets, your computers, your laptops, turn TV off. Right now I have the Nina Simone channel from Pandora going. It's an awesome, awesome radio station. So until later, bye.